Some quick tips to lean up your battery usage for the iPhone iOS 11. First, we want to turn off our background app refresh as much as possible. We're going to go to Settings, General, Background App Refresh. Either turn them off or at least set them to Wi-Fi. So I've set it on Wi-Fi and I'm just allowing Skype to update in the background. Everything else I have off. Turn off location services to as many apps as possible or at least set them to only use location services while you're using the apps. So inside settings, go to privacy, location services, and I've set most of mine. Now I have some apps set to never use location services and all the rest I've set it to only use location services when I'm using the app. Disable as many notifications as possible from your settings home screen. Go to notifications and you see I have most of my notifications for all my apps turned off. Ah, I missed one. So just leave the ones that you really need on. Also, even for the notifications that you allow, if you know you're not going to be monitoring your phone, leave it face down so your screen won't light up every time you get a notification. Now, if you don't need email alerts, switch your email settings to update manually. From the settings home screen, go to accounts and passwords, tap fetch new data. I have push turned off and I have my Gmail, I have everything set to manual. Under fetch down here, I have it set to manual. So when I open my mail, it may take a tad longer to update, but since I'm not, I don't live in my mail, that's perfectly fine. Now we're gonna do a few changes inside our display settings. First, we're going to enable, we're gonna turn on auto brightness. From the settings homepage, we're going to go to general, accessibility, display accommodations, and make sure auto brightness is turned on. And I turn up the reduce white point just a little bit. I don't like harsh colors, so I leave it on like 30. And now we're going to go back to the settings homepage, and we're gonna to go to display and brightness and make a few changes. We're going to set our default intensity. I like mine low, I don't like harsh tones, but that's an individual preference. Set your night shift schedule. You can leave it off, but turn it on. I leave mine set to come on at 10 and turn off at 6 a.m. And it uses less intense, warmer colors. And then you can set, again, the intensity. It's best to leave it in the middle. Also, set your auto lock to as low as you can tolerate. And I'm in the habit, whenever I set my phone down, I just tap the power button to turn off the screen. Turn off raise to wake, or else your screen may light up several times a day just because you pick up your phone and you're not even gonna use it. Let's go back to the settings homepage. Now, when you know you're in an area with poor cell reception or no Wi-Fi signal, go ahead and turn those off to save power because your phone will try to keep connecting. So if you're, if you're in an area of no Wi-Fi, you just turn off Wi-Fi, no cell phone service up in the mountains somewhere perhaps, or if you want to turn everything off, turn on the airplane mode and that will save battery power. Now, Update all your apps because sometimes an update improves battery performance. So we're going to go to our app store. On the bottom right here, we're going to tap updates. And it doesn't show I have any pending updates. Also, we want to check for OS updates because again, they could have made an improvement. 
So click on Settings, General, and tap Software Update. And it says I'm up to date. We want to turn on the Reduce Motion option. This will turn off some animations which may conserve battery power. I actually turned it off a few days ago and I haven't really noticed it, so maybe I'm just not one to notice little animations. So from the settings homepage, tap general, accessibility, and down here, make sure reduce motion is turned on. Now, if you notice your battery really running low, you can turn on the low power mode, which tones a lot of things down. So we want to make sure that features on our control center. So when we swipe up, we see it. Go to Settings, Control Center, Customize Controls. Go down here, find Low Power Mode, tap it to add it. And now it's up at top. So if I swipe up on my phone, there it is. And it says um, a lot of things will be reduced or disabled in Low Power Mode, such as Mail Fetch, Siri, Background App, refresh, automatic downloads, and some visual effects. And then you would just hit continue. So that's some tips to keep your iPhone running lean and mean. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.